after the uh, Buffalo marijuana field seizures, which was the biggest marijuana seizure in the history of the DEA, we, we seized over 10,000 tons of marijuana. Okay, after that, we learned, or Kiki felt, Kiki Camarena felt, that, that seizing drugs was not hurting the drug dealer, that they would just replace the drugs uh, immediately after we, we seized them. So Kiki came up with the idea that we should hit him where it really hurts, is in the pocketbook. He said, let's, let's initiate, uh, initiate an operation targeting all their assets and mainly trying to find where they are hiding all their money and go after their money um, more so than the drugs. Because of his suggestion, the DEA then uh, initiated Operation Padrino. Operation Padrino was a massive uh, wiretapping operation involving the U.S., Peru, Colombia, Mexico, and Spain. So, so uh, that through through those means, we uncovered how they were moving their money and where these major drug lords had banks they had their money in so we started hitting them really really hard okay uh in california we made a seizure in a hotel room of 11.4 million in houston we seized uh because of that operation 35 million in a jet and so on and so forth and we started really kicking their butts and hitting them we really hurt them which which was in the pocketbook however we didn't know at the time that the cia was working with his drug lord, protecting them because the drug lords were providing millions and millions of dollars towards funding the illegal war in Nicaragua. So therefore, you know, they became very upset and they meaning the drug lords and the CIA because they weren't getting all this money they were used to getting, uh, you know, through the sale of drugs. So they, they, they themselves started an, an investigation to try to find out, you know, how it was that uh, we were we, we, we were uncovering where they had their, 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 how they were moving their money and where they had their, their money hidden. Little did we know that, like I said, that, that the CIA was funding this war through drug monies. Henceforth, the CIA, meaning the, the, the point guard for the CIA, Felix Rodriguez and the drug lords, start their own investigation to try to uncover how it was that we knew how they were moving the money and where they had their money uh, hidden. And they find out that Camarena came up with the idea of hidden and where it hurts, which was in the pocketbook. They have Camarena picked up. Camarena is brought in, he's interrogated, and he's asked uh, about what he knows about the CIA funding the, the counter war, uh, you know, with drug monies and and, the, and and how all these uh, Mexican government officials were being greased by the by the drug lords, Kiki couldn't provide him with any answers because the wiretapping operation that we initiated out of Washington D.C. was a very secretive, very secretive, a uh, wiretapping operation that was being uh, run through DEA's uh, SOD program, which is Special uh, Operations Division program up in Washington. I I had privy to that information when I became, uh, you know, in charge of uh, Kiki's murder later. So I knew we had it. That drug lords thought that Kiki had infiltrated informants, human sources, to basically identify how they were moving the money. And that's what they were trying to get out of Kiki when they were torturing him. They wanted him to give up his human sources of information, mention, excuse me, which he didn't have. Kiki didn't know himself that we had started this, this, this secret uh, massive opera, uh, uh, wiretapping operation, uh, you know, out of DC to support Operation Padrino, which he uh, suggested be implemented. Okay, the, the seizure of their assets. That's that that that's basically what was going on. We didn't know that the that at the time that a lot of the D, that so-called DEA people they were they were brought into the DEA were CIA uh, double agents, and these these double agents were brought into the DEA to spy on our operations.
and a, a, a lot of them they showed up at, you know at offices in, in, in foreign countries i had i had a couple working underneath me that i didn't even know were cia guys 